let's go shopping. <laughs> hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for once again taking time out of your schedule for a Ham Shack chat. In this video, I'm going to give you a very quick high-level review on 20 Ham Radio HF rigs. I've sorted these by cost from lowest to highest, and the prices that I'm showing are the manufacturer's suggested retail price, not what you can buy them for, uh, which is usually less. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, corrections, opinions, please leave your remarks below down in the comment section. Tell me about it. So, with all that in mind, let's start looking at ham radio HF rigs on the market in 2023. The ICOM IC718 starts our list with an MSRP of $649.95. One thing that I like about this rig is the front-facing speaker that will make it a lot easier to listen to. It does not have an internal impedance matching system, which is commonly called an antenna tuner, nor does it have an internal sound card. So you'll need to add those things to your shopping list to get the best signal out of your rig and antenna setup. And if you want to do any of the digital modes that are very popular in ham radio today, such as FT8. Full disclosure, I own the Yaesu FT891 and currently have it installed in my shack with plans to put it in my car and use it as a mobile HF radio sometime in the future. The MSRP is $679.95 and it will work all of the HF bands plus the 6 meter band with output power adjustable from 5 to 100 watts except on the AM mode where your maximum is 25 watts. Please take a look at this video for an honest review of this rig. Coming in at $949.95 is the Elecraft KX2. This was designed for portable operations, but certainly could be used mobile or as a base station. It will output up to 10 watts on the 80 through 15 meter band and up to 8 watts on the 12 and 10 meter bands. It has an internal CW key and an internal antenna tuner, but does not have an internal sound card for working digi modes. It also has a built-in microphone. This one is only available from the manufacturer, Elecraft. The ICOM IC7100 was released at the 2012 Tokyo Ham Fair, making it at 11 years one of the oldest rigs available on the market. Its cost is $1,095.95. When it was released, it had a number of firsts. It was one of the first rigs with a removable control head, allowing you to put the main part of the rig out of the way and just use the control head. It was also one of the first rigs that included not only the HF bands, but added 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. It was one of the first rigs featuring a touch screen control and one of the first with D-Star digital voice mode. Have you ever thought about building your own HF rig? At $1,099.95, the Elecraft K2 is a kit radio, although you can have it pre-built at the factory for an additional fee. All the circuit boards, front panel labeling, and most components are already put together in the kit. So your build would consist of following the well-documented instructions that have a lot of pictures or draw a picture of a cowboy to mount the circuit boards, connect all the cable bundles, and do just a tad bit of soldering. Plus, if you have any problems or get confused along the way, Elecraft technicians are available to talk you through whatever problems you're having. The Yaesu FT991A will run you $1,259.95 MSRP. I own this rig, and although I purchased it 
as a backup rig and for remote operations such as field day, it has become my prime digital rig. In addition to the HF bands, it also has 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeter bands. And in addition to the normal modes that you would expect, it also has Yesu System Fusion, which is a digital mode that is rapidly becoming a favorite in the ham community. Our next HF plus 60 megahertz rig is also a Yesu, this time the FT710 AESS. What do you mean by that? which stands for Acoustic Enhancement Speaker System. Its MSRP is $1,299.95 and includes the Yesu SP40 High Quality Speaker. It will do everything you need for SSB, CW, and FM modes at between 5 and 100 watts output. On AM modes, your output is 5 to 25 watts. The internal sound card will allow you to do all of the digital modes available today, such as PSK, FT8, and others. It has a large 4-inch touchscreen display that features a 3D waterfall. This list are real ham radios. Many within a given price range are almost duplications of each other, but they each have their own purpose and each manufacturer has their own style. It is up to you to decide your needs and what you need out of a rig. This list is just to show you what's available on the market today and to help you take the first step in narrowing down your search for a first ham radio or an addition to your shack. If you're enjoying this so far or find it informational, please take a moment, pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I don't like like you like a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like but at $1,399 MSRP, the ICOM IC7300 uses direct RF sampling, meaning your incoming RF signal is immediately turned into a digital signal for further processing within your rig. And this ensures one of the cleanest sounding receives for rigs in this price range. It works on all HF bands plus the six meter band. And from the reports I've heard, has one of the best DSPs, that's a digital signal processor system available. The Elecraft KX3 is another rig designed for portable operation. Unlike the others by Elecraft, this rig covers all the bands from 160 to 6 meter and operates in pretty much every mode and is available either as a kit for you to put together or built for you in the factory. It has a whole slew of options available and that will add additional costs, of course. Of course. The base cost on this rig is $1,439.95 and again is only available from Elecraft. At $1,699.95, the Yesu FTDX10 has everything that you would expect right out of the box with 160 through 10 meter HF plus a 6 meter band, all modes and 100 watts out. It has an advanced DSP system and a display for you to be proud of having in your shack. The Kenwood TS590SG is a callback to some of the older Kenwood designs. Now, I have owned several of these rigs since the original TS590 was released in 2010. Incremental changes over the last 13 years have brought us to this version of the rig which can be yours for a mere $1,899.95. It has a lot of features that you would expect in a rig at this cost, but the lack of a good display beyond the basics is a disappointment. These computers, they say I have to pay more, I pay more. Although software-defined radios, or SDRs, had been around before, Flex Radio took the SDR to a new level. The Flex 6400 is their entry-level version, and the base price is $2,299.95. Of course, that price will be higher depending on how many bells and whistles you want to add. 
You can price out your rig on the Flex Radio website, which is the only place you can purchase this. The Flex 6400M has the same specifications and internally is nearly identical to the 6400 we just talked about. The most obvious change is the addition of a front panel display and controls and also the cost of $3,449.95. As we go through this list, you'll note that each radio is more expensive than the one before it. This was done for the simple efficiency of sorting them by MSRP. Just like one ham doesn't have more intrinsic value than another because of experience, money, and, well, reasons, one radio is not necessarily better than another simply because it costs more. Find the price range that suits your budget, then find the rig within that range that suits you. You can help me spread the word about my videos by sharing Tell everyone. this one with your friends and compatriots in the ham radio community, especially on any social media sites you might frequent. I see 7610 with a price of $3,499.95 MSRP is a full SDR radio where the entire receive signal is converted to digital as soon as it enters your input jack from your antenna. Now, I really should have said receive signals, plural, as it has two separate receivers in it that go through the same process. This allows the multiple received DSPs to pull out weaker signals than previous radios on this list. If you can't hear them, you can't work them. The Elecraft base radios have long been favorites of contesters and DXers. It's my favorite. For many years. Now, I don't know for sure if the K4 will continue that trend. With the price range dependent on options selected, from $3,899 to $5,499, which gives us a mid-range of $4,499.95, you'll get a full SDR with dual receive, HF plus six meter bands, multiple transmit and receive DSPs, and the different options mentioned above that you can select to optimize this rig for your use. Because of all that, I suspect that the previous trend will continue. With an MSRP of $4,799.95, the Kenwood TS-890S is the most expensive radio I own and use, mostly for contesting and chasing DX. Like the previous few radios, it's a full SDR and has more than enough bells and whistles to keep me entertained for years to come. That said, would I have purchased this radio today? Well, maybe, but to be honest, there are other radios in this price range and even at a lower cost with dual receive, better displays, better specifications. The reason I purchased it is because I have been a fan of Kenwood radios for decades. Oh, Mr. Brand Loyalty over here. But that's the only reason. I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but I'll take the mea culpa and my bad on this one. A radio that I had made a background for and that I actually had in my script didn't make it onto the raw video. So here's the radio and what I would have said scrolling down where my face is. And to be honest, you guys probably want a break from my face anyways. The Yesu FTDX 101 MP will run you $5,199.95 MSRP. And it has a 200 watt maximum output. It is a full SDR with dual receive. It has multiple transmit and receive DSPs and a gorgeous display that includes a 3D waterfall. Flex 6600M is the final flex radio to be presented in this video. As such, it's also the most expensive at $5,699.95. And it is only available from the flex radio manufacturer's website. It has the same features as other radios in this price range, 
with the exception that it has four, count them, four frequency and mode independent receivers. The TS990S is the current flagship for Kenwood and features dual receivers, a 200 watt maximum output on SSB, CW, FM, and data modes. Its MSRP is $8,099.95. And the final rig on this list can be yours for the price of a small car. Well, maybe quite, not quite, but $12,565.95. It also has a 200 watt minimum output, just like the Kenwood that we just talked about, along with everything else that you would expect in a radio of this caliber. And that's all she wrote. The fat lady has sung. The fat lady's there and 20 radios were presented. For those of you keeping track, that's five ICOMs, four Yesus, four Elecraft, three Kenwood, and four Flex radios. Each radio is unique unto itself, although they may have many, if not all, the same features. I've entered links in the video description, that's down there, where you can purchase on the one shown as available at HRO, I've listed links to several other online ham radio retailers that will, for the most part, also carry the same rigs. Thanks for taking time out to watch. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I am at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N. This has been a Ham Shack Chat, and I am out.